Smart Culture, Mathematics. Let's take a look at this example. So we have to find the cube root of 27a to the power of 3. So what we'll do first is we'll write the number 27 as a product of its factors. So we can write 3 cubed. The next thing that we'll do is we'll change this root to a fractional exponent. So what we'll do is we'll divide the exponents by 3 since this is a cube root. So what you have to do is you have to write 3 to the power of 3 divided by 3 and then a to the power of 3 divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 so the final answer for this question will be equal to 3a. Let's take a look at the next example. So here we have to find the cube root of 8a to the power of 9, 64b to the power of 15. So what we'll do is we'll write the number 8 as a product of its factors. So you can write 2 cubed, since 2 cubed has a value of 8. And then we also have to write the number 64 as a product of its factors. We know that 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. So we can write 4 cubed and then b to the power of 15. What we'll do now is we'll change this root to fractional exponents. So what we do is we write 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3. a to the power of 9 divided by 3, since the exponent of a is equal to 9. Then 4 to the power of 3 divided by 3. And then b to the power of 15 divided by 3. Let's take a look at the 2. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So we only write the 2. Let's take a look at the a. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So the a will have an exponent of 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So the 4 will have no exponent. Or it has an exponent of 1, but we don't write it. Let's take a look at the b. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So in the final answer, b will have an exponent of 5. So the final answer will then be equal to 8, since 2 times 4 is equal to 8, 8a eight to the power of 3, b to the power of 5. For online tutoring or additional resources, visit our website, www.smartculture-education.com. Subscribe down below. It's easy.